Hello and welcome to the ES2015 course by Eduonics. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor for this course. So a little bit about myself. I have about 12 years experience in web development. I've been teaching courses for four years or so and I specialize in client and server side web development, mostly PHP and JavaScript. Uh, some of the JavaScript technologies that I work with are Node.js, Angular, and React. So this course we will be focusing on the new features and syntax of ES2015, also known as ES6, and we'll do this through slides and examples, and then we'll have one project at the end putting the concepts that we discussed into play. So the course structure, we have six sections. Each section will have anywhere between four and seven lectures. Uh, each lecture will have between one and two videos, and then any documents or project files for that lecture will also be included. And then we'll have one short quiz per section. So what you should know before taking this course, you should at least know some HTML, uh, a little bit of JavaScript, you don't have to be a pro, and this is probably ES5. Um, basic programming concepts like arrays, uh, objects, loops, functions, things like that. And if you know object-oriented programming, that's definitely a plus, but that's definitely not required either. All right, so let's take a quick look at some of the technology concepts in this course. So JavaScript fundamentals, uh, objects and classes and object-oriented programming, variables, arrays, loops, functions, we'll talk about data flow, Node.js and NPM, ES2015 features like modules, generators, iterables and iterators, and then also compiling code with Babel and Tracer. So here's an overview of the sections. We have section one, getting started with ES2015, where we'll kind of just talk about uh, the changes, what ECMAScript actually is, uh, and also how to set up Babel and Tracer. Section two will be declaration and classes. We'll be talking about let and const. We'll also talk about uh, classes and objects. Section three will be templates and string features. So uh, template strings, uh, some of the new uh, methods you can use on strings. Section four will be on data structures and iterators. So data structures like, like set and map and also how to iterate through those using functions like entries. Section five will be on functions and data. Okay, so we'll look at generator functions, arrow functions, and also promises. And then in section six, we'll do our project, and that should be it. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoy the course, and I will see you in the next video.